I'm too pretty for jail. Why don't you take your mask off, you big chicken? What's that for? What are you guys doing? You guys photographing. Please know that you're here. Oh, you guys are jokes. I didn't want to be filmed. Record like Congress. I don't want to be filmed. Are you recording me? Why are you hiding? What are you doing? You're filming questions. people without their permission. I'm calling the police. I demand privacy from what you just shot at me. Postal Service would like to present two, 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 two day priority mail. That really showed us. Yeah, that Facebook post, it's really gonna get us. Just taking some video out here, just exercising our rights to record in public in public spaces. Okay. Have a nice day. What are you guys doing? <laughs> what are you guys supposed to be? Just taking video. <laughs> yes, what are we supposed to be? We're um, humans. We're humans. We're humans. We're masked humans. You have a wonderful day. Thank you. Yeah, we'll go on. I love the videos. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they're a good man. They're always good people. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> have a wonderful day, ma'am. I love how they think I can't hear them with a parabolic mic. You guys understand how a parabolic mic works, right? Yeah. Okay, just saying. You can literally pick up everything. I know. And I paid way more taxes in my lifetime than you have, I promise you. <laughs> Telling people to get a job. Yeah. <laughs> That's rich. I have eyes. Bought and sold companies with employees like you. How you doing, sir? Taking video. We do not have any film in our cameras.
taking video of everyone coming in and out today. Why? Just exercising our rights. Yeah, that, that's good. Yeah, yep. Perfect. That is your, you have the right to create your own privacy in public. Yeah, we good. encourage that. Good job. Good job, sir. You have a good day, sir. You too, man. You have a good day, sir. You too. Have a nice day, sir. Very important thing to do. Absolutely, one of the most important places. Yep. Try serving the country, you'll understand. Go serve the country. Apparently. I do this for a living too. I go to the post office every day and I hear them talking about you. And so I was like, oh, I love they're out there doing that. You gotta have the, we gotta force the conversations. Thank you very much. Just an exercise of our First Amendment rights and reminding people you're being filmed over 100 times a day without your knowledge. And okay, so that's it. Yep, you have cool. a beautiful day, though. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Have a nice day. Okay, so I think you might have, like, beat line straight back. Please do, guys. I didn't even hear what he said. Have a nice day, sir. Thanks. Have a nice day. No one's telling them to demask. She almost walked right in. Where they do passports and stuff. You have a good day, sir. Oh, hey, hi again. <laughs> and be careful, you may not want to capture children under 18, you ever know if somebody can try to use it against you. Um, so we actually purposely try to avoid kids, 100%. We're not oh, okay. trying to, that's not something we're trying to put out there online anyways. Yeah. Is it, wasn't it, is it a, a social experiment? What's the, no, uh, so what we do is an exercising of our First Amendment rights and remind people that you're being filmed over 100 times a day when you leave your house, with or without your knowledge. Every, oh. I mean, even every Tesla that's rolling down the road is now filming you. Um, and that if you want to demand privacy, you have to create it yourself like you have here. Um, if, if that's the expectation you're gonna have when you're out in public. Yeah. So. You know, my, my philosophy is I'm too pretty for jail. So I just don't, for what it's worth, I try not to break any laws. So I figured if they, if they, even if they kick my door down, I'm like, have at it. My right. computer's clean, my mail is clean. Absolutely. And so I figured if they, if they want to watch me all day, first of all, they're going to be bored. Mm -hmm. Second of all, someone watching might learn good moral lessons. Absolutely. And uh, third, yeah, that's think, a good thing. And I think the people who like, you know, do, do evil are the ones mm -hmm. that have something to lose by being filmed. Yeah. So I'm thinking well, on one side, if you know you're being watched, you behave well. But on the other side, it's like you shouldn't be watched because you should have a freedom of privacy. 
So I can see like it's like almost like a double-edged sword. Well, and that's kind of the way we do this. It's kind of the challenge, the idea that cons there's a huge misconception. People walking around believe that they have privacy in public, and that's not the case at oh, all. Yeah. In uh, fact, it's polar opposite matter of that. Matter of fact, you know, the last 20 years of my life, whenever I do any business or job, mm -hmm. I just always assumed I'm being recorded. So Absolutely. Whenever, whenever Emails. I speak, when I speak to people, mm -hmm. I don't say, yes, this is. I say, well, I believe this might be it. So later they say, he said, he said this. I go, no, no, no. I said, I believe so. So oh, you're actually my new best friend that type of language is exactly how i speak to people yeah just you know just be unless you have proof be be open right you have a beautiful day sir absolutely with those beautiful smiles like you got look at that beautiful smile i don't mind a bit you're good you're good you have a beautiful day you guys have a good day ma'am Yep. Thank you. you have a beautiful day, ma'am. Thank you. We got one, two, and a half. The guy has some good words of wisdom there, the guys. Don't do anything nefarious, and you don't have to worry, uh, worry about anything nefarious. Or, yeah, something like that. But listen to what he said. You have a beautiful day, sir. Thank you. She's putting on her mask. Because she's expecting privacy when she comes back in, I'm assuming, or when she goes out. One more yeah, let me know if you need help with anything. Right, you're good, thank you. You have a beautiful day, sir. A beautiful day, ma'am. You have a good day, ma'am. You have a good day, ma'am. More? Yes. Are you done? No, I'm done? All right. Have a good day. Have a good day, sir. Aw. Oh, you have a good day, sir. Are you airdropping me something? Um, I just accepted it right now, my God. All right. You have a good day, ma'am. Yep. You have a good day, ma'am.
in the post office. Why are you here? People. Why are you here? We didn't harass anyone. You just walked up you to us and asked us questions. You're filming people without their permission. Do you have business here, ma'am? You are filming people without their permission. You don't need permission in public, ma'am. I don't think you understand that. Oh, really? So you're camouflaging your face because you don't it's want to be seen? Camouflage. You have yeah. the right to create your own you privacy in public. You don't ask it? You're camouflaging your identity. I'm covering my face. No, you're covering your face with your face. Exactly. Good job. You're doing this wrong. Good job. What are we doing wrong? How are it's you? The, so it's you wrong. decide how the First it's Amendment wrong. works? It's wrong because it's wrong. That's what she said. Oh, it's wrong because it's wrong. So I love how she's the ruler of the First Amendment. Aren't we glad a Karen didn't decide what the rights are? Do the police know you're here? Probably. They probably know. Could you imagine if a Karen was the signature signatory of the uh, Bill of Rights? Love your hair. Problem. The hell? Wow, you she's stepping on my foot. What is wrong with you, lady? Are you okay, ma'am? What the hell is wrong with you? Do you need your license? What'd she do? She like smashed the paper into my into my camera, dropped it, so I put my foot on it, and then she put her foot on mine. Like... What the hell? <laughs> she just harassed me, you fucking. Oh my god. That's funny. It is your address? Call the police, they're. Ha <laughs> ha. Where'd you go? Uh, I just, I took, I saw her stepping on his foot. So, I, do you need your license plate recorded, ma'am? And I, I kept like ten feet behind her, but yeah, recorded her plate. And she got all up in my face, recording me. I go, ma'am, are you okay? Why are you harassing me? You're getting up right up in my face. This is harassment. Why are you recording yourself harassing me? And then she just walked away.
I like your dress. Very cute. I like your shirt, sir. You have a nice shirt. Mask off, you big chicken. Have a nice day. Take your mask off. I see your face. Take your, take your mask off. Hi, you're dismissed. Take your mask off. <laughs> How you doing? Good. You have a good day, sir. Need some help with that, sir? Alright. You have a good day, sir. We do an exercise of our First Amendment rights, reminding people you're constantly being filmed in public. Really? Yep. So if I told you I didn't want to be filmed, what would you say? Um, you can make the request, but since you're in public, 
it just happens. So you're basically allowed to take photos? Of Absolutely. Otherwise, TMZ, CNN, all those news stations, they'd be out of business. Oh. Have a good day, sir. You too. You guys, uh, I heard it first time in the audience. You have a good day, sir. Just honking at me. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Have a nice day. <laughs> hey, you guys have a good day. Yeah, I did, dude. As soon as I started. Yeah, I didn't even You know, you can go record Congress instead of telling people how to exercise their rights like an idiot. You know, idiot. you said you had a job. I'm retired. I don't need a job. Lucky so you. go back to your. I wish I had time. But tomorrow, maybe, hey, someday you'll have time, and thank you for participating in your rights. Protests are good. As long as they stay peaceful. Yeah, I was gonna say, it depends on the type of protest, but well, as long know. as it's a peaceful protest, no matter what you're saying, you should be allowed to protest. I think you got that side. I didn't get that side. <laughs> Why do people feel comfortable saying, go film Congress? Like, okay, pay for my ticket, yeah. <laughs> and his ticket, and his ticket, put us in a hotel for a few weeks, I'll go film Congress all damn three weeks. <laughs> I'll even pay for my own food. Just give us room and board. Yeah, do you wanna, if they wanna fork the trip, go ahead. How you doing today, sir? Hi. You have a good day, sir. What's that for? Uh, we do a First Amendment audit. It's uh, exercising of our First Amendment rights, sir. People ask and then they just walk right out the door like, okay. And people ask, why don't you tell everybody who asks? That's why. <laughs> you guys have a beautiful day. Thank you. It's funny that lady actually, she actually, uh, explain to the lady behind them what we were doing and she actually pulled up like some TikToks of what <laughs> and searched it up and showed her daughter like what we do. Oh nice. That was fine. Christmas. You have a beautiful day ma'am. You too. Why are you hiding? So we remind people that if you want and demand privacy in public that you have to create it yourself. I can't create your privacy for you. <laughs> okay. Yep, you have a beautiful day. I love your dress by the way. Oh you guys are jokes. Um, you're a joke. Why don't you go serve our nation? Why don't you go serve our country? Try serving our country. I actually do serve our country. No, you don't. No, you don't. Can you name one thing more productive than our rights? Then you wouldn't try to trample on our rights. Ma'am, ma'am, name one thing more productive than exercising our rights, and I'll I'll do something else. Why don't you guys work and actually do something? Because I'm retired. Give me something else, ma'am. You're so. The gall and entitlement of people to walk in and tell people to do something else. Like, tell me something better than exercising merits and maybe I'll go do it. But none of them have ever, ever said anything. Oh, that guy said go film Congress, but he didn't want to pay for the trip. I mean, th that's still doing what we're doing. 
And he told us to not do what we're doing, but go. I love how he wanted to trample on our rights and then said he's going to join a protest tomorrow. I was like, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> you want your First Amendment rights, but you don't want my First Amendment right. Perfect. Sounds about every entitled Karen out there. Yep, it's always me, not you. But they're already on. The camera is on already. I was screaming at you, Joe. Please. Yo, what? I just had dental surgery. Can you turn the freaking camera off? What does dental surgery have to do with this recording? You don't have the right. I'm screaming at you, I do not do that. Ma'am, we are exercising the very right that you're saying that we don't have, which is why we have to be out here exercising it. The fact that so many people believe we don't have rights is shameful. If you're part of the Screen Actors Guild, you should be used to being on camera. Is that what she just said? Yeah, she said she's part of SAG AFTRA. So we can't film her because she's on SAG AFTRA? Nope. Because she had dental surgery and she's in the Screen Actors Guild, we can't record her. Poor TMZ, they're out of business tonight. I might I gotta call and let them know. So every time Beyonce gets a boob job or a butt lift, they can't record her? <laughs> How you doing today, sir? Yeah. I'm so confused. She heard us sitting here talking about her rights and then decided to try to trample on them. Yeah. Oh, she's going to cam back. But she can film us. I can't see the cam back because of the tent. I don't know. And then she better tell this person to turn their Tesla cameras off. How you doing, ma'am? Hi, how are you? Wonderful, thank you. That's emotionally stable. Hmm? That is emotionally stable. Yeah, an emotionally stable individual. Have a good day. You have an excellent day. Have a beautiful day. Yep. Yeah, all that. <laughs> One more time. I ran out of shit to say. <laughs> That's actually rare for me. <laughs> have a fantastic day. Bye. <laughs> I ran out of adjectives. <laughs> My brain couldn't spit them out fast enough. Take video of everyone coming in the post office today. People coming in the post office? Yep. I ran out of adjectives, guys. <laughs> My brain broke. Full day, ma'am. Okay. Yep. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> Thank you for the smile. What are the odds? She says she saw us at Bobo Island. It looks like she's doing her makeup to come get on camera again. Oh, Lord. See, she's putting on her mask. I think it sounded like she was on the phone with someone. She got off the phone and now she's doing her makeup. If she's putting on her mask to come, you know, be on camera, yep, the she, irony in that's going to be kind of funny. You have a beautiful day. Thank you, you for the smile. Thank you. Yep. Bye. 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 <laughs> I love your attitude. <laughs> How you doing today, sir? He's back. Yes, I'm back. <laughs> nice to see you again. Nice Hopefully, you is too. that your ankle that's hurt? Yeah, it hurts. Yes, I am. I, I was running and I hurt my knee. So, I'm oh, running. you got to be careful, yeah. man. I know. Did you I'm overextend good. your knee? I think I tore uh, some 
know, yeah, I overextended mine on a boat uh, two years ago, and I, I couldn't walk straight for like three months. <laughs> yeah, I'm still seeing a doctor for it, so hopefully it's oh, going to get better. May you be blessed with some uh, healing power there. Thank you, buddy. Thank Absolutely. You. How are you guys doing today? Beautiful smiles. There it is. <laughs> you have a beautiful day, ma'am. She's like, nope. All right, have the day you deserve then. You have a beautiful day, sir. Thank you. Yep. Welcome back. <laughs> How you doing today, sir? Okay. Damn, she just drove up on the whole curb. Her wheel is off the ground. Oh, shit, yeah, it is. Jesus. Sam Wade. Sam Wade needs to learn how to park his car. Or she. Nice car. How you doing today, sir? Good. What are you guys doing? Just an exercise in our rides. What are you doing? Everything. Everyone's beautiful faces coming in now. <laughs> there it is. Smile, beautiful smile. Love the package. It's very pink. I've been seeing a lot of that specific package. Where do you even get that wrapper? I don't know. I've been seeing a couple different colors of those specific packages. You have a beautiful day, sir. You need some help? <laughs> you have a good day, sir. Yeah, you, you have a good day, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, the window thing. How you doing, ma'am? You have a beautiful day. Love your hat again. I remember the hat last time. How you doing, ma'am? I like your hat, too. It is all Oh, we're just doing some public uh, photography and the exercising of our First Amendment rights. Absolutely. You have a beautiful day, sir. They use it. They use the number three for their garden utensil. How you doing, ma'am? <laughs> You're so gorgeous. Beautiful smile. You have a good day, ma'am. Yep. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, like. Yes, it The Mojave Jeep truck. Comment down below if you're a fan of them Jeep trucks. I got normal Jeep, the full well, four door, but I don't know about them trucks. How you doing today? Are you recording me? You're recording everybody coming in. Why? An exercise in our First Amendment rights. Oh. Who are you guys? Uh, well, I'm not going to disclose that. That's, That's a weird request to identify somebody. 
people? No, it's exercising our rights. I already told you what we were doing. You got you got no ears, too many mouths. You want to express yourself with tattoos? Trying to scare everybody? No, not at all. No, I'm not. Most uh, most everybody's been really nice and cordial to us. I don't think everybody's here. I think you might. That's not everybody. Really weird. Uh, really weird. Really weird. Said it concerns him. This dude that's tatted head to, head to toe is concerned. No front plate window tent. Never will get pulled over in this neighborhood for that. I was trying to talk to her because no, who the so fuck ready. is this lady? You're not a I, I don't, I don't so know what you're, I don't so know what you're so talking so about. I'm gonna disengage easy. and walk away, okay? Bye bye. Okay. Yeah. Stick to your healthy words. What is wrong with her? Let's see. Hide behind a mask and a camera. That's small size, not one. Okay. Well, in America, we have the right to do this. We have the right to create our own privacy. All right. You harassed me. I never talked. I never said a word to you until you started harassing me. She sounds very entitled. Hey, doing, sir. Good, how are you? Wonderful, thank you. How you doing, ma'am? You have a beautiful day. Hello, ma'am. Bye. Bye, guys. How you doing today, sir? Doing well. How are you? Doing well, thank you. It didn't say anything like that to me. You said that. She did. No, no, I saw her walk in. She came in ahead of me. So yes, she came in ahead of me. Then after... Well, why don't you look at your videotape and we can see it? Take your mask off and be your little American. Wait. Did you say end the videotape so you can see? Your Okay, that's the. You can believe that, man. I don't even listen to the entitledness that's coming out of her mouth. I wasn't following her. Why are you out there? Why are you out here? Why are you? Take yours first. All that makeup? That's a mask? My lipstick? All of it. Ma'am, as soon as you guys stop putting makeup on, as soon as you women stop putting makeup on, then we'll stop wearing a mask. Guys, 
Now you're harassing me, so. Ma'am, you engaged us. You started yelling at us. We're just I didn't yell at you. We're just responding to you what you said. You would know if I was yelling at you. We're, we're just responding you to you. You would know if I was yelling at no. you. But thankfully, we live in a free country, and you I don't know, get to dictate. I'd like to learn about what you're doing, so I can even mm -hmm. support it if I want to. Because mm -hmm. I do get concerned about the post office having that accessibility oh, to have the rights to be here and not feel harassed. Because people don't feel free to come to the office. That's why I would love to know what this auditing is. So if you, if you search up First Amendment auditing, you'll learn about it. It's got a picture you create? Hey, you too, man. Have a beautiful day. He was so nice. You have a good day, man. If you're digging my content, smash that like button on this video so the YouTube algorithm bots continue to present our important message to others. So, a bunch of women don't get to tell us to, like, not have no you know how many women? Not all. There are some exceptions. That cake, a mask on every day. Like I've woken up next to some of them. It's not the same in the morning. Completely different people. You have a good day, sir. How you doing today, sir? That's good. What's up? I'm the next Santa Claus. <laughs> you have a beautiful day, ma'am. Yes. How you doing, ma'am? What are you doing? Oh, just an exercise in your First Amendment rights to just film in public and record in public to remind people that you're always being uh, filmed over 100 times a day now when you leave your house. Oh, my God. You have a beautiful day. Thank you for being so kind and sharing that smile. How you doing today, sir? Good. How are you? Beautiful smile there. You look like that one actor. It's not gonna come to me. I gotta try to remember the movie. Someone comment the smile. His smile looked like an actor, and I can't remember who it is. Someone comment if you know what I'm talking about. You have a good day, sir. Oh, I take, I'm taking video of everybody today. Got to get all those beautiful smiles. I was going to say, how many of you can the roads going? <laughs> <laughs> most, you know, I, I do get some really kind people today, really nice people, so. Hmm? you want to see something? Sure, absolutely. Still full of it. <laughs> that is a very thick wallet, there, sir. See what my birthday is. Uh huh. 1940. The 20th. Today. Oh, today. Oh, well, happy birthday. Well, happy freaking birthday, man. 85? 84. 84. Oh, you're, you're, don't give yourself extra years. <laughs> But you have a beautiful time, you know, beautiful day today, and hopefully you make it to 100 easy. Keep walking. That'll help. Yeah, but I, the question is, you know, you, know, you, 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 you kind of get out of whack with everybody, you know? You know? Absolutely. Yeah. So I have so, a question for you. What's your best piece of life advice for somebody coming up? You live every single day. And when you go, you go, you go. You go. Rather than saying, oh, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. No, that's true. Nice. Very true. Beautiful day. But yeah, I never, I never thought, you know, I, when I was going to school, even going to work and after college, uh, you know, I thought 65, you know, you retired at 65. Right? So, oh God, that's, it, that's the end of the world. <laughs> I'm 20 years past that. Absolutely. Now. It's it's a 65 against 84, 19. Yeah. Hey, keep spreading that smile though. Everybody got everybody needs to be more joyful. 
No, I think the thing that is, I really don't think about it that much. Or uh, I have full things going on, yeah. and thinking and having things, and uh, just the simple things in life. Yeah, you know? keep busy too. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, but, but slowly. Yeah. Not not try to. You yeah. Know, run, run like heaven, that means it's, you sit down and collapse. No, I, Absolutely. But people do that. Yeah. Right. Got to be careful. Yeah. So, well. Uh, so you're working for the you know police? I mean, uh, for the the post office. Post no. office. Huh? We just what we're doing is an exercise of our First Amendment right by filming in public and reminding people that you're constantly being filmed this day and age. Uh, over a, what? We remind people that every time you leave the house now, you're being filmed over a hundred times a day when you're rolling around town. So. You you, you follow the door after that over a hundred times a day now. They did a study. Street lights, uh, you know, the Tesla cars are all filming you, um, your phones, other people's phones, everyone's taking selfies, the, the buildings you're walking by, yeah. Yeah, there's stuff up there you yeah. don't even know about. Yeah. So, it's not good. Yeah, it's a different world now, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, it's, what was your first car? Huh? What was your very first car? That I rode in. That you had. Oh, that I had. Um, 1949 Nash. Nash. Yeah. I haven't heard that one in a while. Yeah, you know the, the overturned bathtub. Yeah. But that was a great car. You know why? Hmm. They had bed folding beds in the back. <laughs> of those things. They, but nobody knew because you know it, it was just a. When you wanted it, it was a four door sedan and the big ambassador. Nice. Six cylinders, and, you know, it looked like an overturned bathtub. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. yeah. And uh, all you did out, lift the seat up, and you pull out two, two things in there that were there, and then you release the seat. The, the, the sedans had seats at one time, you know, the two. Ones. Nice. And, 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 you know, they were great for the move, to drive in movies. Yes, very. <laughs> drive in. You're getting some action in your Nash. <laughs> Yeah, 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 the car wasn't worth a shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey. that, was a good, that made up for it. Thank you for sharing. You have a beautiful day and happy birthday. Yeah, well, I appreciate it. Yeah, Absolutely. I wish the same thing yeah, on you. Yeah. You should have a good long years and, and, and just, you know, a little minor and med Medicaid. Yeah. Um, I have I think that I can't. Skin cancer. Oh no! Uh, you doing that's, okay that's now? 20, oh, 25 years. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm probably the, the best doctor in the world. But nice. Not just the that's good, man. You got to be careful with the sun. Oh yeah, but see, I'm, I'm doing it. Yeah. Well, oh, well. Happy 84th. Yeah. Maybe I'll see you around town. Town. I'll see you in another 15 years. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a nice yeah, right there. You have a beautiful day, sir. You have a good day, sir. Speakerphone, hella loud, like. <laughs> right. Yeah, beautiful day, ma'am. Kind of you have a beautiful day, though. Thanks. Yep. How are you doing today, sir? That's good.
I do like these places secure so voters right She's very mad. Awesome. So if you guys are auditing it for that, I just wish you would tell us a little bit more what we're doing. I wish you would close your, your close your mouth and listen for a minute. It's a public. That's fine. No, I'm, I'm just making a statement. I, I, you want to make a statement? I, 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 also, I was also making a statement, but at this point, I know you're not going to listen. Uh -huh. so I'm not no, gonna I really you. do. No, I don't. Because you guys don't have I don't anything think about so. Yeah, say it. That's my like friend. You got oh, okay. those crazy eyes. <laughs> She's an entitled Karen. She got those crazy eyes. Just creating our, our own privacy because there is no privacy in public anymore. So if you want privacy when you go out, you just have to create it yourself. Yeah, you're being Not recorded a thousand times a day. What happened? No, it kind of just starts the conversation. I don't think it's hypocritical. If you, I'm saying if you want privacy, you got to create it. If you want to, everybody's going to wear a mask to have a privacy you're trying to tell me right now? If you want to, yeah. If you, if you want to? Yeah, if you want to. Well, why are you so afraid to have a... I'm not... Well, why don't you hide? Oh, my. Why are you? Why you? <laughs> I think I'm done explaining. I think I'm done oh explaining. Oh, my. These people... <laughs> I think these people don't want to actually know. So they're not going to know. We were like halfway through explaining and then she had to say something yeah. something random. So, it's always the Karen's who ruin it for everyone. Yeah. Exercising your rights too. <laughs> Keep dragging me back and forth. <laughs> Doing. She's taking video. Okay. That was the most LA accent. You you don't need permission I mean, in public. The First Amendment gives us permission from the U.S. government, so yes. You're right. And what are you using it for? Just exercising our rights. We disseminate all of our interactions with people, both good and bad. What is the yeah. reason? Well, depends. People who don't understand our rights usually react poorly. She might react poorly. Yeah, beautiful day, guys. Thank you. Yep. Uh oh, not another cam bag. Another cam bag. What? Double cam bag. What? This is crazy. I've never seen this before. What are they gonna do with our pictures? Beautiful smile. What are you gonna do with my picture, ma'am? Where are you putting them? Oh, she's calling the cops. Uh oh. You have a beautiful day, ma'am. Beautiful smile. You have a good day, sir. Yep. You have a beautiful day, ma'am. 
You have a good day, sir. What's that? What are you guys photographing? Oh, uh, we're just doing an exercise of our First Amendment rights, reminding people that every time you leave the house, you're being filmed over a hundred times a day now. And if you want and demand privacy, you have to create it yourself. I demand privacy from what you just shot at me. I can't do that, but... Yes, you can, because you shot it. No, but you can. But you can request, but you have a good day, ma'am. That beautiful smile, though. <laughs> You have a good day, ma'am. What was that? What are you filming? Everything. Why? You record everybody coming in. Why? Exercising our rights. I see. Okay. You have a good day, ma'am. Yep, sit on it. Have a good day, guys. You have a beautiful day. Me again. Too, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, it's time. Changing the adjective. I use beautiful. I use gorgeous sometimes. Beautiful is my favorite. Comment your adjectives on what to replace it with. Extravagant. You too, you have a beautiful day again. Look, she put her mask on, but she's also apparently on the phone now on. You have a beautiful day, ma'am. She is harassing them. Ma'am, leave him alone, you dirtbag. What? You're a dirtbag. You're a cool brain. Go away. You're a dirtbag for trying to assault him. Go I away. Go you away. are dismissed. You are dismissed. You have poop for brains and should go home and drain it out. You're you can't assault parent. somebody like that. You hit him with the fucking thing. Go, go away. It doesn't matter. You hit his stick. That's also ba that's battery. Ma'am, yes, you are. You're a Karen. You she need up. to go drain out your poop brain. Take a nap and drink some milk. And leave us alone. You can't assault people like that. You've been following them. Why don't you leave them alone? Leave them alone for the 15th time. Again, go drain your poop brain now. Cool. Go ahead and keep going. But you can do that without following them again. Alright, let's see if she follows me again. I'm going to stand over here. Go away from her. I hope she doesn't approach me. Oh no. Harassment. She's finally, she's finally leaving. Yes. Wow. There she goes. Yeah, this is a bad cat. You know, I can be crazy. That was crazy. I thought that girl, she was harassing me. I'm like, oh, I'm crazy. Okay. She's creating her own privacy. Good job, man. Just for the thing. Why is she going after me? You're the one who said it. <laughs> you okay? Hmm? You okay? I'm the one who said that. I don't care what you said. You said you good job on creating your own privacy. No, I just what what exactly are you guys doing? Exercising our rights. No, exercising your rights. You're not doing that. You're being a nuisance. This is no. exactly what we're. Ma'am, I think you're being a nuisance. Actually, you you walked up to us and started no, harassing I did. us. I did. 
Exactly. Uh, yeah, you he did, exactly. admitted to harassment. I am on harassing you. Okay, go All right, away. then Guys, please step away. away. Why are you away. harassing me? Please go, go away. away. No. No, we're going to just stop talking to you. All right. All right, I'm going to walk away. Don't follow me. Don't harass me. Why are you harassing me? I'm going to go over here. Please don't follow me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you trying to touch me? Sit on it. She sits and sits on it. Hey. That's good for thee, but not for ye. Uh -oh. Absolutely beautiful smile. Thank you. You have a good day, sir. You have no courage to show your face. Oh. And you have no courage just to be a nice person. I wasn't not nice. I asked if you just said I. You said I have courage. You know how much courage it takes to stand up for your rights. Try it sometime. You can do it in other ways and show your faces. That's all. Okay. I think you are not uh, okay. honest. You have to stand up for our rights one time. Then you'll be you courageous. Have, you have, yeah, well, this is not a specific right for anything. It absolutely I'm is. Our using, First Amendment you are right. Using people for your financial no. Okay. gain. No, our First Thank Amendment right is people. our First Amendment right is absolutely the most important thing that we well, can take I care of. Well, I wish you a good day, and next time show your faces. Absolutely not. And don't show those anywhere. Enjoy them at home because yep. you are cowards. Oh, and now you and now you offend me. You know you, you are rude. Oh, you, you call him a coward. Well, yes, because that your faces are covered. That's a name, you but idiot. But it's not an insulting word. Like it absolutely you. is. Thank you, you very much. You meant it as an insult. Thank Howard you. is an insult. Go and find He's another post you. office. Go home. No. Howard is an insult. I don't think you Bye. Should. You're you dismissed. Home. You go well, home. You're dismissed. You go home. You're dismissed. I have my, my right to stay here. You absolutely are, but you're dismissed. You're dismissed from the conversation. We're not going to continue. Very good. And, and look, you were here all day? And look what I did. I made her stay. That's kind of funny. By saying you're dismissed. <laughs> it's like training a dog. She doesn't know what to do anymore because she wants to leave, but she wants to stay. But she also wants to leave because you want her to stay, but you want her to leave. You are so pathetic. Reverse you psychology are is the best way to train somebody. You are pathetic. It's sad. And you're trainable. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Literally just trained her to stay. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else I can help you with, sir? Because they're not going to come. It's on the way. They're not going to come. So they, yes, they, they are on the way. Okay. They lied to you because they've been saying that to everyone. They, they've been... I don't care. Sir, you they... want to waste your time? Stay here with me. Well, you didn't call them. You didn't yes, I did. You're wasting their time. You, you have to stay here. You're wasting their time. Until the sheriff comes. Well, so I don't... I'm leaving. So I don't, I don't I have to stay here. I, mean, I can go if I want to. Don't we don't we don't day. have to stay here, but we are choosing to stay here because we're gonna be here all day. I'm going to be here all day too. Perfect. Would you would you, you like this way? Awesome. Would yeah. you like would you like to go into the lobby and grab a seat while we wait? Out of consideration, you're right. I don't want to get in trouble. I'll stay. You stay. Thank you. I, I'm come in. Uh, I'm, we're waiting for the show. That's the boss. <laughs> Not boss. I like your little, uh, your little point back. Well, you don't have to make any comment. I just know. wait. I was just saying, I like your Sir, back. can you stop yelling at people, please? You're not people. I'm not people? Uh, yeah, because you're not listening to me. I don't have to listen to you. I don't have to listen to you either. Sorry, you're right. Then you're Dad, you're just wait. 
Dad, relax, Dad. You're, um, not, you're not listening, so you're not people either. Yeah? Yeah. Sir, just calm down. It's not that serious. Just chill out. You can speak to us without yelling. We're not yelling at you. He said what? I just, I, I would just suggest going home, calming down, taking a nap. Shut up. Oh, yeah, just Mark. wait. Hey. Wait for what? Sir, can you stop? Come. Can you stop yelling, please? You're causing a disturbance. You stop. stop! I'm not doing anything. Sir, can you stop yelling, please? You're causing a disturbance. Sir? You think you can talk me out? No, I'm. You don't even know who I am. And you don't know who I am, so chill. Yeah. You're taking my picture illegally. That's not a thing. Sir, this is illegal. When you're in public, you can take a picture. Illegal. I can actually, there's a poster over there that gives us permission. I can show it to you if you want. Yeah, go ahead. Let's go. I'm there. not going to go. Um, but you just said to show it to you. I, I can't, I have to. You just said to show it to you, bro. But that gives us permission to be here. So yeah, you, you tell them to come in here. But I, I can't it's on the wall. You, you can't bring a piece of paper to come here. It's on the wall, sir. It's a poster on the wall. Yeah, papers can't walk. You have to carry it to, in order for it to, to, to uh, travel. Who do you think the people are? What? You can talk your way out? Can, I'm not trying to talk my way out, sir. I'm just trying sir, to explain you to you. You just wait until the shadow comes. We're not disrespecting you or anything. Sir, I'm trying. Shut up! It's coming! Hey! You stop you Stop yelling, please. You You're causing a disturbance for no reason. You don't need to yell at us that he's coming. There's a reason because you took my picture hey, illegally. Okay, but you don't without have Without my permission. You, that's not a thing in, in the United States. You can, you're free to take people's picture. Are you a lawyer or a judge? You don't know either. How do you know I am not? Well, then, you're, then tell, you don't know the law. Sir, you see? Tell. I don't think judges act this way. If they did, we'd be in trouble. Yeah. And mine has some serious problems when your judges act like this. You're acting really erratic. You're really hostile and aggressive. I think he's calling again. No, sir. They're on the way. He's trying to rush them. We can't rush this. This is not an emergency. 911, what's your emergency? Uh, I'm at the, uh, I'm still at the, uh, RPV post office on Silver Spur, waiting for the sheriff to come. They're supposed to be on the way. What, what do you need the nothing for? Uh, there are three people taking picture, everybody through the door, including me. And I... I told them not to take my picture, and they refused. Yeah. Uh, well, the deputy is on the way. This is not a life-threatening emergency, sir. So they won't be there. Yeah, I'm waiting. We're all standing here waiting. What do you mean, you all? Waiting for the sheriff. Huh? Waiting for the sheriff to. Uh, Four, three, uh, three uh, uh, holding cameras and no, no, no. me. You said we're all waiting. Who is waiting? I call. Just you? Yeah, no, I call. The deputies are on the way. Thank you. Yeah, she just lied to you again, sir. Damn, she hung up on him. Damn. I don't know why she keeps telling me they're coming. She's she's fed up. Up. Sir, would you like to know why we're taking pictures here? I don't care. Okay. You're, you're not getting permission. I don't need permission in public. Yeah, yeah. We're here. We'll see. Sir, have you had lunch today? Have you ate? Maybe it's that. Maybe you're just cranky. Would you like a glass of water? No. Would you like okay. a snack? I got some Cheez-Its. Just wait. Okay. The sheriff is on the way. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. I'm telling you, the sheriff is on the way. Is he? Yeah. Oh. Can I get through here? Yes. Absolutely. Let me get out of your way. I think they keep lying to you. Oh, there they are. Nope, they're here. I don't care. Actually, they were. But they're not gonna, they're not gonna stop us from being here, sir. I'm not going. You're not going? Yeah. They're, they're here. 
They got no, no, just wait. Just they'll come in. He is not your savior. <laughs> so I have the song with the song. It's just a joke. He needs a Snickers. I think so, yeah. <laughs> don't pressure him. He's old. Hey, man, don't be calling people old. There's the sheriff. Right he doesn't look a day past 40. He He's fine. He doesn't look a day past 40. Hijabs are bullshit. Well, a hijab doesn't really cover your face. What you're thinking of is a nikjab or nikjab or a, oh, yeah. or a burqa. A burqa covers your whole face completely. There you go. Yeah, here. Sir. Oh, sir, the, the sheriff is here. That's fine. Let him come in. He sounds too okay. Yeah, he sounds very serious. It's still on. He's just sitting there. He had that on speaker so we can all listen to the dispatch. Thank you. I'm glad you guys were able to hear that. Does this guy still think he's in jail? <laughs> hey, man. Stand back three feet. Most judges are real lawyers. Because most interactions people ask who they are as if they were police officers. Okay. I don't think they are crazy. So Sir, I don't think the sheriff is coming here. You gotta go to him, bro. I think you gotta go talk to him. I don't think he's gonna come in here. You can call him. Would you like me to go with you? Yeah, we'll, we'll all go with you. If you want us to be there with, while we talk to the sheriff, that's fine. Do you want me to talk to him first? We waited. No. Yeah. Wrong door. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we waited for the sheriff, but he will go over there with you. You might want to call again and let them know that the sheriff needs to come inside, sir. Sir. You don't even know who I am. I, I didn't ask. Yeah. I'm being very respectful to you, sir. I've, I've been, I haven't yelled. You've yelled at me. I haven't yelled at you. But, sir, what we're trying to tell you is he's not going to come in here. We have to go to him. I will walk with you over there if you want. That, you want? that officer doesn't want to come in the post office. He doesn't have authority in the post office. Do you want to go over there? Because he has a gun. Guns aren't permitted. Yeah, this is a federal building, so he can't come in here. Yeah, firearms aren't permitted on federal property. So you have to walk over to him. You don't even know who I am. Sir, it's you're fine. Fucking nonsense, you yeah. know? Your name is right Sir. There. I see your name right Hey, there. excuse me. Come out here with me. I'll go with you to the sheriff. We're trying to help you, sir. Just leave him. Just leave him. Don't. Don't. What's up? How you doing? <laughs> Oh, just a First Amendment exercise of our rights. Yeah. Reminding people you're always being filmed in public. Sir, he's, right, cool. just, he's just sitting in his car. Do you want to come with me? I'll go with you. I'll go with you. Careful. Do you want me to help hold you up? Do you want me to help hold you up? Okay. I'm just trying to help. He's filming because they don't carry body cams. Yeah, he detained us. He said that we have to stay here. I, I sir, just, sir, oh. sir, let me tell you something. Sure. They're entitled, they're entitled to, to record, okay? Okay. They're, this is a federal building. They're entitled to be, be in there and record. Don't, Anybody they want? Sir, sir, don't fall for it, okay? Just walk away, be a better person. Walk away, go home, do your business. 
and go about your business. Okay. Okay. I tried to explain, but he was nice. I was nice to him, so. But he did detain us. So thank you. We, we were trying to tell him that for 15 minutes. It was fun. He learned something, and that's fine. Everybody get, deserves a little, you know, credit. You have a good day, sir. Oh. Do you need help with your car, sir? Sure. Oh. So the Del Mar Civic Center at 1050 Camino Del Mar here in San Diego. And you got that gorgeous ocean view. I showed it to you guys on a much sunnier day than today is. They got this beautiful courtyard. And we're gonna go ahead and make our way into the areas. So the uh, first sign that we run into, it looks like uh, tells us where to go. City offices, town hall, conference rooms, restrooms and a, an ADA accessible pathway. So before we go in there, I wanted to show you guys, this is where the elevator is. Walk you guys over to the view. They got a little uh, doggy drinking fountain as well as a human drinking fountain. Some bike racks right here. Uh, open tables right here that are well, essentially cabled and locked to each other, but usable. And you got the ocean right here. And I'm assuming that they have um, limited access that is a gated parking lot right there you got a stairwell down to what i'm assuming is a parking garage situation and you got a staff entrance right here which is clearly marked so this is a looks like we're entering in the city hall area I'm gonna see if i can do an open records request Good morning. Uh, can I help you? I wanted to do an open records request. Uh, so typically people will do those online. I usually um, do them in person. Um, let me make sure they're okay with that still. Um, and I need to even see where the updated form okay. is. Just because everybody always Even if that. I can just write it on a piece of paper, it's fine too. As long okay. as somebody receives it. See what information that they have here. Um, yeah, okay. Um, so once I get this, do I just hand it off to you? Or, oh, oh. Well, I will put this in next request, right? You can put it in next request. Yeah. 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 So, like, just think of like when you're when you're entering and what information you're asking for, then make sure that that is what you're Exactly, yeah. Okay, that makes so, Yes. So, if you want to go ahead and fill all this out. Just be as thorough as you can on Absolutely. all of this. Uh, let's see. And what was your name? Melinda. Melinda. And what was the other thing? Um, trying to think here. Um, do you represent a company? Uh, independent journalist. Okay. Um, yeah, I was just going to say um, for this, do you, he's an independent journalist, so do you want him to reference that information or just his contact information just con that's what i thought yeah you perfect, perfect. Yeah. what was your name okay. yes. oh, perfect mm -hmm. and what was your position here uh, management analyst perfect perfect all right yeah, so I'll, yeah I'll go, I'll go ahead and fill this out and i'll drop it off when i'm ready thank you so some of the processes here guys um you'll notice that at some uh city halls they demand you fill out all of your information so today I'm gonna to show you what absolutely has to be filled out. Uh, for them to send you these requests, you need a uh, name of request or is gonna be my media company and then the email.
then I'll write in, uh, you know, what it is I'm looking for. 20, 23, and you'll budget. So just so you guys understand what I'm asking for in here. So if you guys go into these places and uh, decide to, if you guys go into city halls and decide to do this yourself, name of request or impact media. I will not provide an address. I will not be providing your phone number. I will be providing an email. Make sure you uh, write it clearly for them. Uh, some places require you to list each record request on a different sheet. I don't think that that's going to happen here today. So I'm asking for the 2023 annual budget, the 2023 list of city employees to include their full name, salary, position, and any disciplinary records that are open or closed. So we're going to turn this in now and see how this goes. And then what is your typical turnaround time for? Uh, let me double check because I don't do those. So let me and then I wanted to make sure that we didn't need separate forms for the individual requests. So there's two individual requests. So. Hey, could you come up here for a second? Okay, thanks. She'll be right out. Let yep. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Good morning. Hi. How can we help you? Oh, uh, I'm already being helped. Coming up. It's a PRA. <laughs> okay. He just had a question. Um, he can put all this on one, I would assume. He doesn't need separate for each one. Yeah. I've seen him multiple pieces of information before. And what was your name? Uh, my name's Sarah. And position here? Uh, city clerk. Are you recording Perfect. us? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. I'm an independent journalist. I record and disseminate the processes for doing these types of requests for okay. people. Okay, we'll enter this into our public record system and we'll it, email you the records. Perfect. You, I was asking her about the turnaround time to receive those. Um, so we respond within 10 days to request. And perfect. For something like this, you know, it depends on the other requests in the queue, but we'll respond within a reasonable time frame and give you the records. Some of these records are not subject to disclosure, so okay. we'll give you a response. Ex that's perfect. And then uh, if I can get a business card, for, for me? Yeah, whoever's going to be accepting sure, the request. I'll give you my card. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And are you aware which one would not be able to be I disclosed? Not, okay, I'm going to have to ask her for we clarification on that. We can check with her on that. Let's see. It would make sense. It would be some of the information here. So typically, because it's public record, yeah, those are yeah, open. Yeah, yeah, he was just wondering which one is not. Yeah. Typically, something we. Employees yeah. disciplinary records are okay. not subject to disclosure. Okay. That's private. Okay. Yeah, and, and annual budgets on the city's website. I can send you I, the link. I, you know, we can even give you a PDF, but a PDF preferred. If yeah. it's on the website, we're, we're we can give you a link, yeah. and we can, I'm happy to give you a PDF. That's no problem. List of employees, their name, their salary, their position. That's all information Perfect. that we can give you. Awesome. Yeah. Here you go. Perfect. And your name is Sarah. 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 Yeah. And uh, appreciate it. And so you'll be the one contacting me, I'm yes. assuming. Perfect. Thank you so much. My name is Jack. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Oh. All right. Thank you. Thank you. The, she didn't like us, apparently. <laughs> so um, I tried to shake her hand. She straight turned it away. Um, didn't even offer a fist bump or anything. So you could tell she was a little discontent with us. Um, but she is the one accepting the uh, process here. Um, disciplinary records. Some city halls allow you to receive those. Some don't. Um, so we'll have to uh, see what happens there. And if anybody knows what this antenna is for, I'll try to get a little closer here. So it looks like I'm one you'd manually rise or raise, manually raise. Appears to be an antenna of sort. So if someone wants to fill me in on that and let other people know what the heck that is. Now, when I came in, it appeared that the gate was closed and it still is. It says approved vehicles only, but you can access it from this side.
So no public parking on Saturdays because they do a, a street market place thing here. I wanted to take a look one more time and see if that's an entire list of the ordinances that they have here at the city of Del Mar. Um, Cause that was a, that was a different situation. Yeah, this giant button right here. So you open the doors. I just want to get one more copy of the paperwork over here. Battery recycling container right here. The notice of credit card service fee. So it looks like they're asking, hello. Hey, is there anything that we can help you with? No, no, I'm just getting copies of what's displayed here. Okay. Um, if there's, if you don't have any business with the city, mm -hmm. um, or ha if you have business with the city. I do. I'm disseminating the information that you have sitting out in public. I am an independent journalist. This is my constitutional right to be in public spaces that are accessible to the public. I'm not going behind the counters or in any you, private you know areas. That they, they have your face covered and you're filming our staff without our consent. It is making people pretty uncomfortable. Okay, so, so if there is anything that you need, we'd be really happy to help you. If you have any questions about the city, so any services we offer. I'm not, I wasn't filming any staff until staff walked into my camera right now. So. You're in our workspace, sir. Okay. I'm allowed to, this is an accessible public lobby. Okay. Open to the public. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. That was different. From 2017, Put that on your phone. Someone, someone one time said you could put it on your pants and you pay it over over the years. Is that you know? I think not. Yeah, I think that person asked that question. This is the project manager for Can I get your contact information? He works over here at Public Works in a trailer, so it's best to call or email him. Yeah. Okay. Do you wait? Let me take this. And do you want the envelope back? I wouldn't need that. No. Yeah, no. Okay. Well, let me give you his contact information. So we're going to go ahead and put this back here, guys. While I'm sitting here, guys, I am responding to comments. I appreciate it. She's our city clerk. Yeah. Um, uh, she is in a meeting, I'm told. I walked the building to try yeah. to find her. Um, for a public records request, I can give you, you you're able so to. So she actually has the forms in there that oh. she had brought me one before. I filled one out for oh, okay. uh, pay schedules and things like that. But okay. um, I definitely want a second one so I can fill it out in regards to. Um, she seemed to have stated that there was a policy that we can't film in public spaces, which is in violation of federal law. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to see where that policy is written and see how it aligns with federal law. Okay. Um, and then I'd like to see, she says, so she also said I can't be served with a mask on, which is asinine and wildly against federal law. So I want to, but I want to see where those policies are written and in place. I apologize. I'm actually from a different division. I'm just housed here while they're working on my computer for an hour. You've been so nothing. You've been nothing be. but kind. You do not owe me. Any, you do not owe me any apologies. So, um, <laughs> so she actually uh, showed. She showed Melinda where this stuff was too. So I don't know if that's helpful. But um, Melinda went to lunch about ten minutes ago. Perfect. 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 <laughs> I apologize. I just don't know where the parts and pieces are around here. Yep. Um, so I know that they did go right inside the door to the left, and open something because you could hear it opening and then. Oh, 
<laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. I just need a pen down there and Perfect. You Thank I you. I think the rule of thumb is usually like a 10 day turnaround. Yep, absolutely. So um, all I'll need is when I'm finished, um, um, if you notice me up here, uh, I just need you to stamp it. If you have to stamp some, that one right there. Oh, you looking for you to work. Okay. Right, right. <laughs> right. All right, guys, we are going to do this again, apparently. City clerk. Stated that I cannot film in public, in public, in public accessible areas. I need a copy of this policy that is in alignment with federal laws. Um, so that's number one. So I wrote the second one here, guys. City clerk suggested that my wearing a mask was grounds for less or no services. I would like to see this written policy that aligns with federal laws in regards to face covering both religious and not. And so we're going to go turn these in to the city clerk. Um, so as soon as we get these turned in, I'll uh, go ahead and take off onto the next. Make you a copy. Yeah, I just need to make sure. So, um, typically, uh, if you you want to read it, just to make sure that you understand it and she'll understand it, and yeah, then man, stamp. I, I work in public works. Let well, just to make this. sure that it's in plain English. So it's just to make sure that it's legible. I think I. Okay. I would extract that you want to see the written policy. Okay, perfect, yeah. perfect. Not the opinions. Perfect. I would no, 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 perfect. Um, Not looking for opinions. <laughs> so again, you're. I can see you, you want the perfect. policy that states. That. I just want to make sure because since you're since you're not the city clerk. Oh, yeah. And then what's your name and position? My, my name is Teresa. Perfect. And I'm the administrative assistant down in our public works department. Perfect, perfect. I'm actually due to go there. <laughs> I was leaving to go there, but I'm, I'm going to take a long lunch. <laughs> okay, so here's, okay. here's your guys' pen. Thank you for being so friendly. Sure. Well, right. Wait, wait. I thought, did you not want to? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I need copies of that one and the one I already submitted. Sorry. I forgot about that. Um, she would know. I don't know if. Oh, okay. That's why you got me. No, you're good. If you make copies of those two, okay. um, yeah. So I actually forgot to get the uh, copy of the first one, so I'm gonna probably need that. All right, I'm leaving them the originals, giving me the copies. Perfect. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I don't know if City Clerk has a desk or whatever, but she said she's the one that's supposed to receive them, so. Okay. All right. All right, maybe I'll see ya. <laughs> <laughs> you have a wonderful day. Yep. All right, guys. So, um, we did get the copies of the two. Um, I'm not going to wait for the copy of the third one. Um... So we're not going to do that. So it looks like, um, so you guys can't see because the glare in here is outrageous. But when I had left, uh, their workers were doing like a celebratory. Ah! The lady that was helping me right now turned around, put her hands in the air and told them to stop. <laughs> um, so celebrating a member of the public leaving when doing a records request um, is in itself uh, extremely rude and it almost makes me want to go in there and find out the policy on <laughs> that so I want you guys to understand when you guys do these audits um, you can really do a public records request on anything that's said or done or suggested to you um, it's not necessarily doing it for an annoyance purpose, um, but it is doing it so that they receive every ounce of uh, education possible. So I know that they do not have a written policy 
and they might, I could be wrong, but I know they do not have a written pro policy to not film in public areas, but this is going to make the city clerk look to see if she can find one. And then we also know that uh, wearing a mask is not grounds for less or no services within city halls. So this is going to make them look, understand the concerns, and hopefully educate uh, some of their people. So I loved how she turned around and told everyone to shut up, though. That was great. That was really, really great. So we are at City of Del Mar, guys. Um, like I said, you guys have the email. I will also post it on the screen and in the description as to contacting the city clerk and letting her know how you guys think that they performed here today. Um, I think they get an F um, only because of the egregious remarks the city clerk made in regards to um, wearing a mask and, and filming. Um, the other workers seem to be a little bit more friendly but they were all following her lead um the young ladies in the back that weren't even really on camera they were having a celebration of the departing of myself guys the lesson here today is that we should always be treated with dignity and respect no matter the situation if i walked in there and i had religious garb on and in a burqa or whatever and she's going to suggest that that person should get less or no services because they're wearing that. It's not okay. And I don't care what you guys believe in. And, you know, um, in this free nation of practicing all and any and no religions, um, no one should be treated differently. Uh, there's no excuse for it. Every person should be treated with dignity and respect. And city workers need to understand and remember, we are paying their salaries. They should be thankful that we are doing that for them. They are getting massive medical benefits and extraordinary pensions that they receive from retirement till their death. So it is beyond me that they would treat members of the public the way that they do. So we got the uh, United States Post Office and now hiring sign up there. So this is gonna be a smaller, smaller one. They do have the uh, 2016 Poster 7 up. Um, they still have the firearm design. So we'll have to see what goes on with that once the uh, the order takes effect. So we got applications for passports here, passport fees, processing times. You got a private door right there. I'm scanning the whole room. Sorry. I'm not. Okay. I'm not messing with anybody at all. Well, right? 
This is one of the smaller lobbies I've ever seen. Not happening. Take it out. That's not happening. Okay. I'm, oh, I've been gone. on. Okay. I, they're messing with me. I haven't touched nobody or gone into anybody. He's filming us. Mm -hmm. and she's in a she's in a public space. That's not a right. What I'm doing is my right. That's fine. That's fine. I haven't walked. I haven't walked up to anybody or engaged anybody. So. They're not going to show up. If they do, they'll educate you guys. Oh Lord. Hello. <laughs> she pulled that one. That's actually I am. engaging about me so I'm going to film it this is this is actually I'm not you guys are over there okay. 
And I don't know if you have one in yours, so. No, I'm good. Thank you. No, no, I haven't asked you for your name or any of that information. Okay. I don't have to give my identification to anybody, not even the police when they come. I absolutely can. Just like you guys can tape me. You, you, already, you already took pictures of me without my permission, so... If you guys had engaged politely, I would have absolutely shared and divulged that information. You guys decided to call. Okay, you guys decided to make 911 calls, so we'll let them educate you instead because they're not going to do anything other than educate you that I'm allowed to do it in a public setting. This is a public accessible facility. I'm allowed to be here. Sure, and but I think my point is that when I'm over there, I don't understand why you have to. I'm allowed to film anything and anybody in public. This is public. This is public. They'll they will let you know that when they get here. This is my job full time. So, okay. Not while you. Since you guys made 911 calls, now I have to film you guys to watch my back. And just so you guys understand, there's a poster right here, this one right here, mm -hmm. just so you guys, if you guys are willing to let me educate you, this, this one, right this one right here, mm -hmm. that gives us express permission to do exactly what we're doing. So photographs new, for news purposes, advertising and commercial purposes, you're allowed to film inside the lobbies, the foyers. What are you using it for? I'm, I'm making a story on the post office. But you were over at the sunglass place in La Jolla. I, that's what I do. This is what I do full time. I make stories. But this is a federal place. Which, which we even have more standing here. But do they have any provisions stating that you're not allowed to do that? Assault on... So the notice of reward, that's, a whole, that's not even anything related. But poster seven, the section you're looking for is uh, photography and all of that stuff, so... And when the police get here, they're going to pretty much tell you the same thing that I am. So okay, it's not. Just okay. Not Neither am I. <laughs> Look at the little puppy. It's a cute puppy. Very fluffy. You have a good day, ma'am. Okay. I know.
Excuse me, sir. You dropped the post-it note. Sir, sir, your post-it note. Uh huh. <laughs> Just didn't want you to lose address or something. Not a problem. <laughs> you're good. You're good. You have a good day, buddy. You too, brother. Take care. Yep. Yep. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You have a good day, buddy. Bye, puppy. What's his name or her name? This is Snoopy. Snoopy? Hi, Snoopy. You have a wonderful day, buddy. You too. Thank you. Appreciate it. That is amazing. How you doing? Thank you for the drawing. You have a good day. Good little puppy. <laughs> We're about to close up the uh, section of the uh, post office here. It is almost five o'clock. Um, so far, the workers have done pretty well. Looks like they got rid of the lines pretty fast and um, super professional and knowledgeable. Go ahead, buddy. I think you got like a minute left. You almost made them. <laughs> I don't know what time the lobby park closes, but you have a good day, buddy. You too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. How you doing, buddy? You have a good day, ma'am. You too. Um, what type of use do you use that for? What's that? What type of use are you using the video for? What do you mean? What type of use are you using it for? Is it for news? Account? What news agency? I don't disclose that while I'm working. Okay, well, it's five o'clock, so you're not working anymore. I, I work until like. This is closed. That side is, but I, I work. Okay. Is it totally personal and you're not allowed to do it for personal? It is not, account? it is not personal. And um, okay. also, you need the permission of the postmaster. Which, which we have. Let me see. I it's should be able to ask that if it's public. It's on the wall. The permission from the post office on the wall, it's also under the First Amendment right of free press in any yeah. public area. So I do this for a living. I do post offices around the country. So I'm telling you, you are misinformed, and that's okay. But I this, just, I just read yeah. It. You brought it up on here. It says you're not allowed to without the permission. And I don't have proof that you are using it for a news agency. I, you don't need proof. I don't have to present credentials to random people that ask me for credentials. We are out in public. This is public space. Anything so it, like when you're in there, no, no. You so hear if, information of what people are saying, and that's not stuff that we can. So we can't disseminate personal information. We're not allowed to. So all any of that would get removed regardless. I don't know who you okay. Work for. All right. I don't know who you work for. I own my own media company. So when I do undercover, yeah, do when I do under, when I do undercover investigations on postal offices, absolutely. Then you did it at the sunglass place. Exactly. I'm an undercover reporter. Like I, I don't believe okay. you. Okay. All right. I don't believe you. So when the police come, I'm going to have them check your credentials. They can't. Why? They're not allowed to. I, I promise you, I deal. I, I have the cops call me two, three times a day from people that are freaking out. It has. They are not allowed to demand my ID. For law enforcement to demand ID, a, a crime has to have been committed, so.
under the term RAS, so it's reasonable articulable suspicion. I'm, ma'am, I've been nothing but polite. Sorry, I've been nothing. Okay. I've been nothing but polite with you. I even walked you through the rules and procedures that I'm allowed to be here. I've not in any way ga engaged with you, and it's been recorded from start to finish. You're the one that accosted me when we came in. You you that's ran up to me, me, demanded. Okay, you don't that's react. Okay, if you're scared, you that's just, not. You just don't sit there and start filming hey. on people like this. I was filming the entire room, but if, if... I know, and people okay. are giving names and addresses and everything, and that's picking it up. Not at all. Why is it not at all? Because they're facing that and direction. You don't okay. want to give any information. You ask, you ask to answer, and every time I try to answer, you interrupt, so I'm just going to stop and engage it. You absolutely just interrupted me again. I'm trying to explain things to you and all you do is keep interrupting me. So I'm trying to be polite. I'm very respectful about what I do. When people come up to me with respect and they're calm and they ask me questions, I tell them everything, but I do not do that when somebody runs up and accosts me and demands my SIM card. And... It didn't accost you, you're lying. Hey, accost is verbal. You came up and you- I'm not threatened by you okay. being here. All right. The cops can tell you the same thing. If you feel threatened, you shouldn't be hanging out in here with me. So you came out here because I was already here. I had no choice. They closed down. Then you can leave. I can't leave because you called the cops. I have to stay here now because the cops are on the way. I'm not going to be running around town. She asked me if I knew what car you were in, so I'm just going to stick around and find out what car you're in. Okay. Well, that's not going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and videotape all the cars. Go ahead. All right. Absolutely. you would literally in that moment be practicing the same First Amendment that I am practicing. I would have explained this to you every way but sideways had you responded more respectfully. And even then, I've still tried to explain it. I've tried to show you things, and you just keep shutting it down, keep interrupting me. I mean, there's hardly a point. That's not true. It absolutely is. No, it is not. Okay. That's not true. Prove it to me that it's true. I've recorded the entire... I don't know. Okay. Prove it to me that it's true. I don't have to prove anything to you. Okay. Okay. I think they just closed their doors. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, not any of the postal boxes, but. Yeah. Sorry about that. Hey, Don. What's up? No, I'm just doing a story on the post office and. Have a good day, man. Thanks. <sighs> How you doing, buddy? <laughs> I think you're really hard to stay serious right now. <laughs> Great. <laughs> That's cool. 
<laughs> At least you're able to find the humor. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Take a selfie. <laughs> Here, I put my hand around you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, brother. <laughs> I made my day. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> he took a selfie with me. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> In a moment of my own correction here. <laughs> um, I said I'm an investigative reporter. It's not quite... <laughs> what I was shooting for there, guys. I meant that I'm a investigative journalist and the reporters are the ones that report on the stuff that's already disseminated. And then the journalists disseminate for the uh, people reporting on it. You have a good day, ma'am. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, journalist. Journalist. <laughs> People carrying around all this anger and these beautiful sunsets every day. Almost every day. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm gonna, they're obviously not gonna be here anytime soon. I'm gonna take off to my next location. So, is that, I just wanna let you know. <laughs> you guys have a good evening. You can't claim fear when you run up to the person and demand parts of their camera. That's not fearful, that's entitlement. So you gotta correct the language there. Um, you guys can't accost people, which is verbal, and demand answers and demand this and then claim to everybody around you like you're so afraid of him. Um, that's just not okay, man. It just, it really isn't. It really is not. So, I'm gonna go ahead and cross right here. But thank you guys for uh, staying tuned today. Uh, as always, give us a subscribe guys, show us some love. Comment down below how we can do improvements. Comment down below how we can uh, catch an area near you or uh, different buildings that you wanna take a look at and see how they do. Um, Thank you for watching Impact Media, your go-to educational channel for all things public filming. We hope you found our content informative and engaging. Remember, your support is crucial in spreading our message far and wide. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your friends and family. By doing so, you'll help us reach more people and make a positive impact in the world.